just when we the boxing public got real happy as boxing fans was like yes fucking great fight it gets a little lumpy in the oatmeal folks right here on double rt boxing with your host mr a the ready ready talk boxing show we are talking dimitri's andra taking on billy joe saunders which has been ordered by the wbo wow right fucking wow great fucking fight between two guys who are highly talented but just doesn't quite seem to let us see all their talent now it got lumpy in the oatmeal today goes on boxing scene check out the article Andrade is signing to a matchroom boxing and will have a the zone contract. Now, first, I'm not gonna shit on that. I think that's a brilliant fucking move. Like I said, I'm a I'm a big fan of Eddie Hearn. You know, take away the bullshit he's doing with the Wilder and Joshua fight. Take take that out the picture. I'm down for Eddie Hearn because he keeps fighters busy. You know, I like I like stay busy fights. I like getting trinket belts, and you know, I, I like fighters staying relevant. And Eddie Hearn does that. Sometimes you don't always like the relevant fights. You know, Danny Jacobs versus uh, uh, Luis. I forgot his name. Danny for the Shalucky. You know, whatever. But you know, look where he's at now. He's fighting. Uh, Dervinchenko. Was that Eddie's doing? Probably not. You know, he got ordered for that fight. But still, you guys get the gist of it. Um, Eddie, especially the UK fans, going to know more than us American fans. Eddie Hearn keeps you fucking busy. You know, he gives you he gives you shite fights sometimes, and he gives you good fights sometimes. Now, I guess so. For a boxer. Like Demetrius Andrade, who's been fucking on the shit stick of getting getting uh, money, getting pay, uh, paper, chasing that paper due to his uh, promotional bullshit. He needs to catch up on income. So him signing with Eddie Hearn for Matchroom Boxing USA and the Zone perfect fucking move you know he could have went with pbc it would have uh gave him some more some american recognition you know there's a lot of fighters pbc has that he could fight in the stable at the same time him going to the zone he's like the first american can't i won't say really star but well-known name that he could be he could own the zone right now. Now there's rumors of Gabriel Rosado, him and Gabriel Rosado. I believe I don't know. I think they already fought, but hey, it'd be a, that'd be a nice little fight, you know. Gabriel Rosado will come to fight. Demetrius Andrade will eventually win that fight, but it'd be a nice squabble for his first fight. Don't be surprised if that's not his first fight on the zone. Now, saying all the kudos and fucking icing on the cupcake for that signing. Of Demetri Andre, great business move. But this is where the oatmeal gets fucking cold and lumpy. Now we have in the States Bob Arum and, and uh Al Heyman sagas, they don't always work together, but I think they work better than Frank Warren and Eddie Hearn. Now we know Eddie Hearn and Frank Warren now have these two fighters. And as of Thursday, today is Friday, that leaves nine days left. For a fucking purse bid for this fight. Or nine days for a negotiation and an agreement before a purse bid. Do this fight even go to purse bid? Does Eddie Hearn uh, convince Demetrius Andre, hey, great opportunity, but pass it up. I'm going to make you more money. And still get you that opportunity down the line. You're number two right now. Now, if he turns it down, 
he's supposed to get dropped out of the rankings. But don't be surprised if he pops up in the WBA where Eddie Hearn has a nice little uh, tea and biscuit relationship. You know, it, what is Dimitri's Andrade, Andrade right now? Let's check out the WBA. You know, if Eddie Hearn convinces Dimitri Andrade, hey, you sign with the zone and me so you can get more money and give you big fights. So we're going to go, we're, we're going to check it out because Billy Joe, like I said, Billy Joe Saun Saunders and Demetrius Andrade are talented fighters. And due to their inactivity, we forget how talented they are. And, and, I, and we don't always see the best of their abilities. Now, since what, 2016, like I said, over here, majority of, where's, he's number four in the, he's over, he's number four in the WBA. And I can tell you right now, I can tell you right now, I know what's going to happen. Demetrius Andrade, I doubt is going to take this Billy O's Sanders fight. He's going for Ryota Morota. Ryota Morata. That's where he's going. He's going for that WBA regular title. Uh, Eddie Hearn is going to talk him into that WBA regular title. Eddie Hearn loves the WBA regular title. He got Rocky Fielding in it. All his fighters go for the WBA regular title. I, I right here, I'm saying it first. The Demetrius Andrade is going to the, this WBO Billy Saunders fight, I don't think it's going to happen. Demetrius Andrade is shooting for a Rayoto Murata under this zone, right? I'm calling it, but we're still going to pretend this WBO thing is happening. Saunders and, and, and Demetrius Andrade, talented fighters who fucking don't always show their potential. And to what? I, think, I believe it was 2016. Uh, Andrade beat the shit out of Willie Nelson, knocked him down once in the first round. I think, like, a couple, you know, not, I believe he knocked him down like three to four times in that fight and knocked him out in the 12th. Put a, put, you know, it took him a while to like put it on him, but he eventually knocked him down. And then people could say, oh, you know, what about Billy Joe Saunders? He looks like, you know, he he's, he's off and on again. You know, he looked like shit against, um, Damn, I forgot the guy they call Wolverine. I forgot that a Akarin, a Akaruka guy, whatever. But they call him Wolverine. And you can argue the same thing. Didn't Demetrius Andre look like shit against Jack Kuke? So they each gave a, they each gave us a shit performance. But you know, and then you got Will, you got Willie Nelson. So you, you had Willie Nelson before Jack Kuke. You had the Wolverine guy, and after the Wolverine guy, which Billy Joe Saunders, Saunders came out and said, hey, I look like shit. What did he do next? He fought a better competition in Willie Monroe and schooled the shit out of Willie Monroe. Willie Monroe couldn't do nothing. After Willie Nelson, a shitty performance. And then another shitty performance against on um, Alantis Fox. You could say he did, you know, it wasn't shitty for he dominated, but he should have got Alantis Fox out of there. You know, a fighter like Andrade, you know, when you're that elite fighter that everyone's avoiding, the Charlos, Canelo, Lara, everyone's avoiding me, show us why they're avoiding you. You couldn't finish Fox. That, that's what they're, no, don't see. That's that's not a good way of showing. So Billy Joe Saunders, shit performance against Wolverine, came out, looked fantastic against uh Willie Monroe, and then he came out and just looked even better against David Lemieux. We see Billy Joe Saunders going in the right direction, while we see Demetrius Andrade floating in that limbo, which we always fucking know. You know, we can't judge Demetrius Andrade. We know he has skills, but we know Broner has. We know Adrian Broner has skills. You know how many times we're gonna keep giving these guys the chances? We gotta, we gotta judge everyone fair you know we shit on adrian broner for not showing up what about andrade yes andrade is winning 
But, you know, shouldn't he he should be winning against those guys, you know, right? He's that elite guy that every all the elites are ducking, so he should be beating Atlantis Fox. He should be beating Willie Nelson. But should he be taking Willie Nelson to the twelfth round? Should he be going to unanimous decisions against Atlantis Fox? Willie Monroe, David Lemieux, those are uh, former champions and cha champion challengers, you know, and they're getting dominated by Billy Joe Saunders. So you could say both those fighters are the same. They, they give us hit and miss his performances. But Billy Joe, since his miss against the Wolverine, he came out, addressed it and said, hey, I'm sorry. That shit's not going to happen again. Andra's like, hey, you know, people are ducking me. I, I, I'm in a little inactive. I'm a little rusty. And you still look the fucking same. You know, Willie Nelson, whatever. Clay, you look like shit. Alantis Fox, disappointing. Now, like I said, like, both these guys are highly, highly talented. But at this stage, I think they're both, they're in the same type of fighter i think they both got good punch selection great ring iqs good um range control good um i think they got good feet work good leg work ring generalship punch control defense avoiding shots uh head movement waist movement i give the edge on uh demetrius irons he's good at changing heights while billy joe's more of just a um, waist and head movement you know but this is a good fight, which I don't think is going to happen. I think Eddie Hearn is going to convince Andrade to not take this fight and get more money in the bigger picture. You know, because it seems like Dimitri kind of has no problem turning down fights. You know, he did. He turned down two fights with Sergey Devonchenko. Remember, he was about to fight him at the end of 2017 understandable he had a death and a friend or a family i get that one okay emotional sometimes his family and friends are more important in the business of boxing i'll fight him in 2018 then something about the money happened what the fuck money are you making andrade you know you you, you could have went out beat devon chinko which i think he can and he would have been lined up for this title shot against daniel jacobs but that's out of his way because he skipped that. You know, now he's in WBO. He got the signing with the zone and Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn and Frank Warren. It could shock me and, and it, the fight can go down. But, ah, uh, man, these two guys, I don't see going to a purse bid. I see, I see the long run picture. Uh, Eddie's going to convince, like, hey, look what I'm doing for Joshua. Look at the money I'm making, Joshua. I can make you that type of money. I can build you, you know, into a star in USA and even make you a bigger star over in UK. You know, I can make you a, a, a multi-continental star and get you paid. And right now, I think Andrade would take that income to catch up. And it's still, like I said, he's number four in the WBA. He's going to get that. He's he's going to get that WBA regular title shot against Rayota Murata. That's my prediction. Now, if this fight does happen between Billy Joe Saunders and uh, Demetrius Andrade, kudos. I'm fucking happy to be wrong at this stage. Just a if I just a quick hey, who you betting on? I got Billy Joe Saunders. You know, I, I just. Just from what I've seen, the more recent, the more active in the show me state, and two guys who I think are talented equal, the better performances have been coming from Billy Joe Saunders. Can Demetrius beat him? Yes. It's like a 55-45. I'm leaning towards Billy Joe Saunders right now. Double RT Boxing. I'm your host, Mr. O. Mr. A. Please subscribe. Hit that thumbs up. Follow me on Twitter at RRTB Show. What do you guys think? Do you think he's going to get this fight going with Billy Joe Saunders? you think it's going to be a, a for sure go? Or do you agree with me that uh, Eddie Hearn is going to convince him to go 
make more money on the zone. And what do you think about the WBA prediction? I'm, I'm saying he's number four. Eddie Hearn's going to convince him, get money on the zone, and go for that regular world title. And then from there, we'll try and fight Canelo or GGG winning. What do you guys think? Again, thanks for your time and support. Thumbs up. I appreciate it if you give it back. Thank you for tuning in.